I'm flying on a plane with you guys. You guys so am I whoa, standing? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I need an ice pack. You just stepped on a freaking foot. Hello, friends. It's me. Today, we're going to be watching this crazy video that just went viral about this guy and his imaginary wife. Let me get this straight. I'm not trying to make fun of you, Paul. Where's your wife at? She is right here. Your wife is right there. She's right here. Uh, which one? The blonde right there at the other gate? No, it's actually the particles of air right beside me. Paul has requested a pre-board pass for his wife. And Linda's right here. Yeah, she's standing right here. <laughs> he wants to get her a pre-board pass so she can board early. Sir, your wife is invisible. If not invisible, imaginary. You got scammed. Why'd you even buy her a ticket? You could've just, shh, hush, hush. Just get on the plane for free. I checked in at the self-check-in. We so always check in at some So you never sent anyone point. her ID? No. Does she have an ID? Well, she has her ID, but you have to ask her. That's for her. <laughs> She has an ID, of course she does. You ask her. Why, can't you talk to her? Honey, whip out your ID. It's not that hard. Linda, can I see your ID? <laughs> she left it in her bag. <laughs> yeah, he replied a little too quick. He didn't even give her time to respond. That leads me to believe that they are communicating telepathically. Like, look. Linda, can I see your ID? No, it's actually in my she bag. She left it in her bag. It's in her bag. He replied before I could even say the sentence. You know, a better explanation would be like, here's my wife, she went to Hogwarts, there was a little accident, and now she's invisible. Come up with a better story. I don't understand what the big deal is. Uh, the big deal is that you don't have a wife. She doesn't exist. And you're trying to get her on the plane. Did this guy really make up this whole story so he can have an empty seat right next to him? I mean, if you purchased a ticket for this person that you're claiming is standing next to you, that's perfectly fine. But unfortunately, you don't qualify for pre-boarding. She's not someone with a disability. <laughs> Man, is being delusional considered a disability? Because this guy bought a ticket for his imaginary wife. How do I know that you're not crazy if you're saying that you can't see her? Because I can't see her. When you're not right, gaslight. Uh, you sure you're not crazy? Like, she's standing right here. Like, maybe you're the stupid one. Maybe you're blind. Clearly she's right here. Like, I can see her. You know, I really want everybody, Battle Royale, 100 versus 1, beat some sense into this guy and tell him he's by himself. There's nobody in front of him. Val, do you see anyone there? I don't. I'm flying on the plane with you guys. You so guys. So am I whoa, standing? Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa! Did you just hit my wife? I need an ice pack. You just stepped on a freaking foot. <laughs> I need an ice pack for my imaginary wife. Oh, is this real life? You really gonna sue the airline for stepping on some air? She got five foot feet or something? You know, even if she did exist, she didn't even step on her. She didn't even come anywhere near her. You stepped on her foot. God. What the hell are you laughing at? I need an ice pack now. Sir, come. Um, I need an ice pack. Okay, come. I need down. EMT, something. I need a freaking ice pack. Okay. This guy has got to be acting or something. I can't believe this. What do you want? Do you want to pre-board that bad? I would have just given it to him. I would be like, just shut up. Get out of my face. I will let you be the first person on my plane to just stop. Sir, if you don't calm down, they're going to call the police here. I'm going to try to assist you as much as possible. Just She's laughing. Like two seconds. I, I know. She's like, bro, I'm really going to get an ice pack for a ghost. <laughs> Freaking crying over here. Give me a damn ice pack and some aspirin. Somebody comes within three feet of her. Oh no, she's hurt. You need an aspirin, an ice pack. You know, we gotta hospitalize her. What's she made of? Glass, bones, and paper skin? Even worse, air. I constantly hear the screaming in my ears. This dude is insane. I'm surprised they haven't called the cops yet. Half of it's screaming from her getting hurt because somebody stepped on her. The other half the time she's screaming because she won't shut the hell up. Whoo! Why are you gonna say that right for your wife? His imaginary wife right now, like, Stop, you're embarrassing me. You know, if she's crying so much, why don't you just like imagine her to be quiet? It's not that hard. <laughs> we just called Eric because I don't, at this point, I don't, just don't think he's even fit to travel. <laughs> let's say he's holding an empty seat for on the aircraft and someone decides to sit there, he might have a breakdown on the aircraft. Oh no, this is Southwest too. You can sit wherever you want. There is no assigned seating. So there's no holding a spot for somebody. And if somebody decides to sit next to him, it's like game over. You just sat on my I don't think anybody would want to sit next to him after seeing all of this. Unless they like to cause problems. You do have imaginary wife. Uh, how do you not see her? <laughs> she's air. She's uh, not air. She's right there. I talk to her just the same as I'm talking to you, little girl. <laughs> the fact that a child, a child is going to go up to him and be like, your wife's imaginary. She's made of air. I got like seven imaginary friends. I would know. For two tickets. One for him and one for his wife. He has Linda on here, who's his wife. 
I don't know what to say. This is so embarrassing. I can't believe this. He getting humiliated in front of the whole airport. How long does it take for a manager to get done? Surprise, surprise. Now he wants to speak to the manager. Your staff needs to start treating my wife with respect. Please, let us board the plane first and I don't want anybody to sit next to us. Because I think that's really all he wants. His wife gets stamped on. So I asked him where his wife is. And his wife is invisible. Her name is Linda. He mad because his wife got stomped on. You know what? If I really wanted to cause problems, I would go over there and start punching the air. <laughs> What's he gonna do? What if I literally kill his imaginary wife? Like, I just go up and just start squeezing the air. Linda, you're causing me too many problems. Just die already. It's not illegal to hit air particles. Linda could barely even take a toe stubbing before she started crying for an aspirin. Like, what's this guy gonna do? Like, attack me? Then he's gonna get kicked off for sure. He's claiming I stamped on her toe and is demanding an ice pack, so Carrie just wanted to get an ice pack. What's up? So, I want to get on the pre board right? I want to get over there so I can get on there earlier. Bro, hurry up! Put the ice pack on your wife! Like, you asked for an ice pack and you're not even icing her! This young lady right here just stepped on my wife's foot and she's screaming that her toe is broken. Ah! Now I'm starting to think his wife is a cockroach. Check the floor for bugs. I don't know what to tell you. I really am at a loss for words. I, I really don't know what to say. <laughs> so you have an invisible wife that nobody can see. <laughs> I mean, he said it like it is. Like, bro, I, I know I'm the manager, but like, I can't help you. What do you want? Manager of the airport? He's gonna tell you the same thing. Take one look at you and be like, there's nobody there. What do we consider a disability? This guy. What he has, it might be considered a disability. I guess not all disabilities are physical. We can uh, let you freeboard. I just want to make sure you're going to be okay once you're on board the airplane. Yeah, I'll be fine as long as nobody else starts messing around with me or do does anything like that. Uh, yeah, everything is good. You know, it's not good to reward bad behavior, but the way I see it, you have two options here. Just let him sit in his own row, or at least, like, keep the middle seat open for his wife, which he did pay a ticket for, or just don't let him board at all. This dude is unfit to fly. Like, what if he's the first one to board on the plane? And then suddenly, oh, my imaginary wife decided to bring her whole entire imaginary family and they're actually occupying the entire plane right now and nobody else can board <laughs> you gotta leave get off this plane he really tried to bamboozle them that's part of what they <laughs> Eric's yeah, been yeah, the victim of an elaborate Where's April Fool's joke Did he put the ice pack on her feet thank you so much they got me wait this whole thing was a joke on the manager I'm tired what I feel like I got bamboozled it's like you know when you watch like a really good movie and then at the end it's like the person wakes up and it was all a dream that's the kind of dissatisfaction I'm feeling right now dang you really got me like this is an actual real thing like I thought it was gonna be like this dude my name's Charles Palabino I'm 36 years old I'm from Beaver Creek Wisconsin and my wife, Juniper, and I have been married now for 12 years. He actually has an imaginary wife. A lot of people don't see Juniper the way I do. Love you. By a lot of people, I mean everybody in the world except me doesn't see Juniper because she literally does not exist. You just kiss the air. We met in high school. Um, it was love at first sight. Ah! What are you holding? Her bidon? Naughty naughty. Just a photo of me and my hover head. You know what? Maybe I shouldn't be so judgmental because I have created several characters in my head throughout my life that are like imaginary, but I don't tell anybody. I keep the weird stuff in my head, okay? Because I can do anything in my head. It's the only place that's actually like safe. You can think of whatever you want. You can do whatever you want in your head. But like this dude taking photos like this, like <laughs> my imaginary wife, like. You would never catch me doing that. I turn the ride for an English class when this hand mysteriously comes out of nowhere and grabs the book. And I was like, hey, that's the only copy left. And she goes, hey, how about this? I'll read the book to you. You take me out to dinner. Oh my God, it's Catcher in the Rye. Of course it is. Somebody told me if you read that book, you should be put on the FBI's watch list. Hey, what's this guy up to? And I just, I couldn't resist. So we went out that night and the rest is history. So he went out to dinner by himself, read the book by himself, and then got married to some air particles. Do you ever like wake up and look in the mirror and be like, wow, I'm actually alone. And then just like smack yourself and just, what nonsense am I spouting? I'm with the love of my life, Juniper. Sure is lonely. <laughs> I actually understand this. I'm not gonna be too hard on him. At least he didn't pretend that somebody stepped on his wife's foot to board early. She's a very clever girl. 
<laughs> when we're out in public, we do get looks, but we don't let it bother us. <laughs> You know what? I just mind my own business. I'm like, okay, I know what it's like to have an imaginary friend, but my imaginary friend stays at home. And then sometimes I like to remind myself that I need to stop. This is weird. But then I'm like, nobody knows about this. It's just me. And now uh, millions of people watching this video know about it, but like, you will never see me. No, I, I, don't, I don't know if you're gonna go into detail. I'm not even gonna talk about this. So the whole thing with imaginary friends is I made imaginary friends when I was younger because I didn't have any friends. And like the two friends that I had at school weren't allowed to come to my house. And I spent a lot of time in my room and I was just like talking to all these random people in my head. It's kind of embarrassing. Like I do understand like you create these things to like fill the void. Now y'all probably think I'm a weirdo. It wasn't anything like this though. Let's play ball. And then suddenly the ball moves. No, that's creepy. I can confirm nothing like that has ever happened to me. But anyways, that's all for today. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click. And subscribe join the wolf pack oh, i love you guys so much thanks for watching bye guys